This is a walkthrough of how I drew this character sketch of Mike Tyson, this sketch here. First thing I did was look for a photo and the best recent looking photo that came up was the Wikipedia one. So I'll go with that. I'm just looking now for aspects of the face that I can pick out that were good for character. Obviously the first one is that his eyebrows are like that. Uh, I can also see that the triangle that makes up the eyes and nose is wide and short. So I'll probably make it wider and shorter. Wide nose. I notice his mouth is curling up a little more on that side than the other. That's worth noticing. And the uh, laughter lines, one is further out from the nose than the other. And then there we've got a beard. A beard is a blessing because it saves us having to draw the jawline too accurately. So that's going to be the triangle shape. The eyebrows are thicker in the middle and then fading away as they get further out. That's worth noticing. And his mouth is, uh, what, what? it's curling up more on this side than the other. Probably won't be that extreme in the, in the sketch. And I'll make some effort at the, at the facial tattoo. Obviously we can't do Mike Tyson and not have that. So that's the plan, that's the roadmap. And from there I do the drawing. I would usually start with the eyes, but in this case, the nose is such a defining feature. I just started with the nose. So there it is. Then the eyes. The eye to the left as we look at it is a bit smaller because it's a bit further away. Mouth curling up, laughter lines as I described. So I'm basically just doing all the things that I thought about a moment ago. Put some eyes in to give it a bit of life. Okay, now, and I just need to put in the bottom lip and I think it will, uh, I think it will look like him even without the facial hair. Yeah, I think that that's, I'm happy with that. That's good work. It does look like him already. That shows the value of making good choices beforehand. So everything I add to it now is just improving on it, I think, because I think he's, the essence of him is already in it. If you're a beginner, you might find it hard to draw the lines in place like that. As in, it's hard to get your hand to do what you have in your mind. There's no tip I can give you for that other than just to draw loads of faces. If you draw a couple of faces, everything will improve. As in, you could watch a video about like a golf swing and get great information, but you will actually have to do hundreds or even thousands of golf swings to really improve. So that's how it is with drawing, obviously, but you knew that. Uh, so I'm tipping away this drawing here. Uh, here's something about Mike Tyson. I don't know if there's even a word for it. He has become the go-to reference for violence. What I mean is, if you turn up somewhere with two black eyes, people will say, what happened to you? You look like you did 10 rounds of Mike Tyson. And they always say Mike Tyson, even if they don't follow boxing. And there would have been at least 50 other heavyweight champions since the Tyson era, if you count all the belts. But we still always say, Mike Tyson. You look like you fought Mike Tyson. Which shows you the, the impact he had on our psyche. I'm just finishing off my rough version of the tattoo there. So that's basically the sketch. And this is a, that would make a good basis now for if you want to do something else. You could colour this up or you could use it as a foundation for a painting. Or you could spend a few hours and turn it into a photorealistic digital caricature that I see a lot of those around the web nowadays. What I will say is all that is works because the sketch, because I'm happy with the sketch, I can move ahead to the next stage. Everyone who ever does caricatures, including me, has at some stage done a sketch that wasn't quite right, but we said, that's fine, I'll figure it out in the colouring stage. That won't work. I would not advise you to push ahead hoping to fix it in the colouring. That's never worked for me. You have to get the sketch right. Um, what's left here? I, I don't actually like floating head caricatures, so I'm going to put a bit of a body on it. I'm just finishing off a bit of uh, highlighting there. So yeah, I mean, I think the body is part of the caricature. In this case, there's not much to do. He's, he's a muscular guy, obviously. So we'll just do a body that looks a bit muscular. So those trapezoidals, I think they're called, should be enough. So I think that's it for the, my caricature sketch of Mike Tyson. 
Hopefully you got something out of that. Thanks for watching.